What's up guys? It's your boy Daniel here with another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change your oil in a 2016 Mustang. Um, for the most part, most oil changes are the same. You can do this to any other car. As long as it's a car with an engine and not like a Tesla or an EV kind of car, you know. Anyways, um, it's all gonna be about the same. There's, There will probably just be some minor uh, changes of changes in the type of oil you use as well as the placement of, of the parts in the vehicle itself but for the most part it'll be about the same easy to follow steps um, and yeah let's get into it so the first thing you'll need is the oil I use the mobile one uh, 5w30 for 75,000 plus miles because mine has over 75,000 miles. And don't forget to check how much your car takes. I have two of them, I have a five liter and a one liter, and that's because my car takes 5.7 liters of oil. Um, just make sure to check your car's guide to see how much your car will take. Next thing you'll need is the oil filter. I'm using the K&N Long Life oil filter. Um, make sure again to check what oil filter your car needs. I usually use this one or the Motorcraft one when it's available. Um, it doesn't really matter too much which one you use as long as it fits, it'll do the job. Next thing you'll need is a jack or some kind of uh, ramps. I use these Rhino ramps that I got from Walmart. I think they were 75 bucks. And honestly, they come in handy a lot for having like a smaller car. Uh, whereas jacks are better for trucks or larger cars. Next thing you'll need is a drip pan, obviously for your oil whenever it's coming out, as well as a 15 millimeter uh, wrench to take off the bolt of the oil uh, tank. You'll also want to get a big piece of cardboard because oil will for sure drip all over your driveway and you, and you don't want to have to deal with cleaning it up, as well as it's some extra cushion so your bag isn't scraping against the concrete. And another quick pro tip, make sure to do this the day after you drive it. So like right in the morning when you still haven't started up your car. Um, because you want the oil to be cold and not warm because um, since you are opening, since you are changing the oil, it might spill a little bit and it'll burn a lot. I've had that happen a few times. It's not that bad, but just saying. So first thing we're gonna do is put it up on the ramps or your jack if you have it. Next thing, pop the trunk. So we're just gonna. Once you pop the hood, you come over here and you're gonna take off the oil cap just for some circulation so the oil flows out better. And also there's your oil level pin, which uh, we'll check at the end. All right guys, the next thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna get that big piece of cardboard and just Slide it on under and um, start getting the rest of your supplies. So in my case, since it usually just is me uh, working on this, I like to keep everything close, just everything uh, an arm's length away. Um, obviously, you don't need the oil to the end. Um, for the majority of the oil change, it's going to be right here behind the um, behind the driver's side tire. So just go ahead and slide everything right there. All right guys, so you're gonna slide down under here. I'm sliding in from the front. You're gonna slide in with me. And and right here is the oil tank and there's the bolt for the that we're using the 15 millimeter uh, wrench for, as well as right next to it is the um, oil filter right over here. As you can see, I did have the Motorcraft one. Um, All right guys, so you're gonna use your 15 millimeter you're gonna get it right here and you're just gonna unscrew it. So, there we go. Get the drip fan ready. All right. All right guys, then you're gonna take that out. 
get ready because it's gonna start dripping here, but once you take it out, it'll start flowing pretty quick. Ready, set, there we go. All right, and I just kind of like to set the uh, pin right here off to the side. After that, you're gonna let it drain for about uh, 20, 15 to 20 minutes just to get everything out um, or as much out as possible. And we'll come back to that. Okay. All right, guys, so the reason I like to do this in the morning is because you do have to wait about 15, 20 minutes to let it uh, drain properly. But also I like to, since it's morning, we can go have some breakfast and just chill for a little bit, which is gonna be the little vlog part of this video. Um, probably just gonna make myself a licuado with uh, banana and uh, you know milk and stuff, as well as probably just eat a muffin. You know, my mom has bought some, so I think those are pretty good. All right, so my mom had some strawberry cream muffins and some triple chocolate muffins. These look pretty good. Probably give me one of these. He's about to pour himself a cup of coffee in the mini cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I got the little cure going on. So we're about to bring out the ninja right there. Got our little cup. Got one banana. It's a brown one. <laughs> I'm not going to show that. <laughs> this guy's gross. <laughs> He's eating a brown banana. <laughs> not really brown on the inside. No, I just say... No worries, it's only the skin that's brown. Nah. We're gonna throw in one banana right there. I like to throw in some ice cubes. I like to throw in like six of them just to make it cold. Um, and then for me, you know, I gotta bring in the chocolate and this quick. Uh, probably throwing like two, two or three spoonfuls, depending on how it looks. One, two, let's do one more. Just so it can be chocolatey. Then we're gonna fill it up. All the way up until that little line, somewhere right there. And there we go. All right, so we got that ready. Playing some Clash of Clans over there or something. Got the other brother talking random stuff. I don't know. Let me take out that pecker. All right guys, so we're finally back up out here. Um, next thing we gotta do is take off the oil filter. So, so we're gonna reach back under there. Right under here. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, wipe off your bolt. If it got a little bit uh, wet from the oil, uh, make sure it's not, uh, make sure everything's still good, all the threads and everything, just because uh, you don't want to have an oil leak, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. It's still gonna be dripping a little bit, but it is what it is. It's not always gonna come all the way out. It would take forever if we tried to. And you're just gonna screw it back in a little bit. And uh, once you've tightened this up with, the, with your hand as far as it can go, get your wrench again and just one more time right there. Not too hard, because you wanna be able to get it off again, but just secure enough. Snug enough that you can. Next thing we're gonna do is get off the oil filter. You might need to use a tool, but this one should be fine. You're just gonna turn it um, counterclockwise again and get ready because some oil more than likely will fall out. And I'm just gonna finish taking that off. Just let that all drain out in there. Don't worry too much about it. Yes. And you're gonna get out your oil filter right here. And what you're gonna do is, uh, since you see, since you see right there, it's uh, a little dry. You're gonna get some of this old oil that's uh, just on here. You're just gonna lube it up with your fingers right there, a little bit, as well as kind of in the inside. We're gonna move that to the side. And then after that, you're just gonna screw it back in right there. Just screw it back in clockwise. Remember, on this one, you don't want it to be too tight because you always want to be able to get it off. Uh, 
your hands are probably going to be a little bit um, slippery from the oil so just get that same rag and just a few times just make sure it's snug enough just right there not too tight you know tight enough that you can just easily squeeze it back and again keep your keep your car clean you don't want to have oil stinking up the place once you turn it back on and it heats up all right guys and what I'm gonna do is just put the old oil filter into that into the box and you're just gonna dispose of it properly or whatever you're gonna do with it all right so next thing you're gonna do is uh, obviously I dropped a little bit more than I expected but just make sure it's tilted down so you can have all the oil filling in um, like I said mine's 5.7 quarts this thing holds 10 quarts so it'll just take a while and uh, once it's done filling up, you're just gonna cap it back up and um, you know take it to O'Reilly's or Walmart or something so they can um, dispose of it. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, oil filter in, oil filter in. And remember, uh, for my car it takes 5.7 quarts, so we're gonna pour all of this one in. And we're just gonna pour it in slowly. All right guys, so for this part, we have 0.7. So this is one liter. We need 0.7 of a liter, so one right here. I'm just guessing, half of it's right there. Half of that is probably around there. So we're just gonna do about right there to like the 600 mark. No, I'm just saying. Okay hey guys, so next thing we're gonna do, we're, we're just gonna check that. We're gonna take out the We're gonna check how much it is. So we're gonna take this out, clean it off a little bit. All right, take it out. And as you can see right there, it's right in the middle, which is perfect. So we're all good. Um, clean it off again. There we go. Take the funnel out. Make sure to store this in a nice, uh, clean area. You don't want a lot of trash in this. Uh, make sure to clean it up as well. And we're gonna cap that back up. And I think we're good to go. All right, guys. Don't forget to clean up. You know, in case you do have some spill oil like we do, just get some like loose dirt or sand and kind of dump it on top of there. It'll, it'll, um, it'll suck it up naturally. And then after that, you can um, just um, dispose of it. Alright guys, so we gotta get a little shovel to um, put some dirt on the oil, you know. Where's that? There. You can see right here where we dropped some, and I wanna cover that up. Are we just gonna sprinkle that on there? And then you can spread that out a little bit. You can already see right there, it's absorbing it. And you're just gonna leave that for a while. You can probably clean that up later. All right guys, so we're done with the oil change. Uh, next thing, what I like to do is just leave my car on for about three to five minutes, let everything circulate through. Um, I hope this video helped you out. That's gonna be it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys want to see next. And um, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.